Today we are going to talk about Starlink. We've done a couple Starlink videos in the past. We're going to tell you what's what. Stay tuned. All right, everyone. Welcome to our first and many of our RV Life Tech videos. Some of these will be super easy, maybe even things you already know tech related and some will even will be a little bit more in depth these are just to help new RVers or maybe some people who don't know like we didn't know when we first started yeah. a lot of stuff we asked fellow youtuber and fellow content creators so yep and not just our viewers anyone that wants to learn any of this stuff it, it works for you too so when we got our Starlink or Dishy it was the greatest thing since big bread, as they say. As you can see here, we even did it, we, when we first got it, we used it on the road. Yep. Um, at a, at a uh, uh, stop. A at rest a, stop in at Alabama. At a rest stop, on top of the truck of all things. Yep. So it as is. you could see, it was feasible and worked great. Obviously, the name of this video is Why Did We Pause Starlink? So, let me tell you. Let me put him in the back corner back here, because that's where he's going to be for a little while. When we first got it, service was great. It worked everywhere. Um, there weren't too many people with it. So because of that, we were able to use it anywhere we went. We started with the residential plan, and then Starlink or SpaceX got hip to it, and they made you go on to this portability plan, which is what we had. For those of you who don't know who Starlink is, why don't you explain what Starlink is, just in case they is a first time watcher or new to the channel so, and are not an RVer or don't know what Starlink is, because not everybody does. Right, so Starlink is internet service that's serviced through satellites. So SpaceX, Elon Musk, um, they created this and it's a network of satellites around the earth. They can actually go watch our videos. We have yes. all about Starlink one and two, and then we have um, an update yep. on it. So we have three different videos that you can go watch. I'll reference one here. Yep. So one of the things about it is there's not enough satellites right now. There were at the beginning because there weren't that many people on it. Then everyone and their mother came on. Then the RV. Uh, you know, package came out where you ordered the stuff and you're able to take it anywhere. Kind of like, just like the portability, the price was exactly the same. So what's the difference between the portability and the home starting? So the home, the home plan is your house. Your house where you live every day and that's your plan. It's $25 cheaper a month than what we were paying. We were paying um, $135 and for the home is $110. So there's, there is a difference with that. Um, if you want to be able to take it with you on the road, that's the price, right? So, okay, cool. What we started noticing is the more and more that I used it, and here on our home base, we got pretty good service. And then, how long would it take me to upload a video? Sometimes hours, sometimes even overnight. overnight. And being content creators, um, even though we don't get paid to do this, especially because we don't get paid to do this, and because Adrian works full time, it's very important that we have efficient Wi-Fi and are able to do it in a timely manner. And we cannot, especially yeah. when we're here or even camping, we can't, it cannot take us four hours, six hours, eight hours to upload a video. That's just madness. Yeah. It just takes from time from it's, our- It's very frustrating more than anything else. Very frustrating. So we started noticing that it was taking actually more and more and more time as the time went through. So the servers got worse at and first, worse and worse. At first it was great. We used it, what, a good six months and it was great. And then as more and more and more people started using it, we did start to notice more lag, um, interruption in service yeah i mean it went from we were getting 
maybe maybe at 80 megabytes per second download and only like eight up which that eight up is what you know as a content creator we need to have a better speed so that we can get these videos up so we notice that those numbers fluctuating a lot i mean by by a lot it's where the tv we watch we, we have all you know smart tvs right so when he would be doing videos we could, I couldn't be on my computer. I couldn't be on my phone. I couldn't be on my, on my, uh, with the TV on all at the same time, which is not feasible. Not feasible at all. It shouldn't. You shouldn't have, with paying that much money, you shouldn't yeah. have that much trouble. But then, but wait, there's more. So even with all that, now you had a service cap of how many gigs, and depending on your usage and your area. There was a certain amount of data you could use, and once you get that cap, they will throttle you down, which was even worse. So, so basically, you're paying, and you're you're paying for other people to use it more than you. Yeah. So, you know, then we always had a backup system, which was our hotspot. So the hotspot was our backup system, which and, we got through T-Mobile. Yep my MiFi, it had a hundred gigs of data which if you upload a video and you watch a movie you're done with this right because we work from home we need to be able to have internet like anybody else so this thing we just got rid of it we just actually literally got rid of it <laughs> it's all about saving money I mean we you know we'd rather take that money and spend it on um, places and make memories and excursions and do things and be on the road versus paying unnecessary fees for something that's really not necessary. Yeah. And at the same time, you know, it, it's a necessary evil, just like your car needs gas. It's just part of life now, right? Especially for us. And so what do we have for a backup? All right, so now we have a new backup and it's this little guy. And I was skeptical. Uh, when I, we lived in Florida, I tried to get this, but it wasn't in the service area yet. So we didn't, we weren't able to get it. Um, we went ahead and we had some friends that had it and it worked great. For them, right. Yeah. And they said that they would travel up and down Georgia and it worked for them. So we were like, you know what? Let's give, Let's it, a give it a shot. So let me show you. So we've had it now for what, four months? Longer than that. This, like. September-ish. So all it, all it is is this. It's a modem. You plug in one power wire and that's it. You gotta, I always put it like this back window back there. That's where my office is, the desk. That's where I put and it. And believe it or not, it is a home modem, but it works it so far, it's worked wherever we have gone yeah so it's worked for us in tampa in tampa it's worked for it us in connecticut and tennessee and it's worked for us in tennessee so anywhere we plug it in i mean you know i travel for work and sometimes i stay in a hotel well i take it with me i plug it in and we, i use that we as actually my internet did our vlog miss which we'll put here and if you haven't watched our 25 days of vlogmas and two of the days we did we spend them at a hotel in tennessee and this was our Wi-Fi. We yeah. were able to we were able to still go live. Yep. Which goes to tell you how powerful it is. And we were able to it it was functioned for us. We were able to use it even on the on the road, even in a hotel room. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's called T Mobile Home Internet and it's 5G. It connects to the regular cell towers, no satellites. So the problem with the Starlink and trees this kind of eliminates that now is this going to work everywhere we don't know we're going to test it out this is why we're making this video to let you guys know about this and what we did and the switch we made and why we did it but, but also to me go ahead. But to me the best part is it's 50 dollars. so yes 50 dollars versus 135 yep what would you do and they actually had a sale that if you're a new customer it was 30 bucks i don't know if that's still there and that's yeah, going we, on. we had missed that. So we, but it's fifty bucks but, a month. But it's fifty. But that's what we were paying for the for, hotspot that for only hotspot gave you hundred gigs. That we hardly ever used. 
and this thing gives you uploads the download speeds this thing gives you download speeds of 150 plus now that's here where we are that's way more than Starlink the biggest part is this the upload it's 80 80 upload speed 80 megabytes upload speed that's I can do a video a 20 same 20 minute video that would take four hours or overnight with the Starlink I can get it up in 20 minutes Wow less than 20 minutes that's sometimes. crazy so that's it's crazy. it's a no-brainer we're yeah. saving money and it's faster yeah. and listen again we here in our home base has been great and well, well Starlink work. just had a price increase yeah just yeah. so actually it's not we didn't get affected we didn't get affected by it it was in certain areas but but, who's but i'm sure it will come that we will not be next yeah i mean listen starlink is they're on cruise ships now they've made deals with a bunch of airlines which is why we still go we all uh, we just paused it we don't want to we paid a lot of money first of all for the equipment we don't want to not have it just in case because you don't ever know you don't ever know if we start realizing well this is not going to work for us everywhere then we unpause it and we go back yep i still have the equipment now because we were in the portability plan portability plan you either on or not so i had to switch it to the rv plan which originally they wouldn't let me switch to the rv plan which was weird but then when i started looking into it um everything's on the app their customer service is not existent which is kind of a pet peeve of mine's you gotta like send a, a, a message or an email and then a day or two later they get back to you yeah i don't like that i don't like anywhere where i can't get a hold of customer service and i know i, I want to talk to someone well and, and the, everything's moving that way right so everything's moving to where you know how many times you get on the phone and you gotta press one press zero i don't you know, like, like that i don't like that at all maybe we're old school or we're showing our age but that's just it's better to get a person you get more things done quickly to me so now that we switched to the rv plan i was able to pause it so that means that my account doesn't go away. It doesn't get shut off. It just paused. So I don't get billed anymore. And whenever I want, I just restore the service, unpause it, and that's it. We'll have Starlink again. So right now they have about 35 to 4,200 satellites. I can't remember the numbers if they keep changing because they're launching rockets every week, which is another crazy thing that Starlink is doing. Once they get their Starship up and going, um, right now, they could do about 55 satellites per launch. When they have the Starship go up, they're going to have over 200 satellites. So that's going to increase the number of satellites in space by, by four times almost. So once that gets to that point, I think we'll have better coverages. With the new satellites, the 2.0 versions, you don't need as many ground stations. The ground stations, you know, the satellite talks back and forth and you need a ground station to relay all this stuff. So without needing that then you're good to go and you're able to have better service so let's see let's see how, what happens what do you think you think it's, it's gonna get better I think it's gonna get better yeah I mean I doubt they made something that's gonna be crappy because then no one's gonna buy it right you, right. you buy a piece of junk car definitely no one's gonna buy it definitely it's just growing pains and I think they grew too quickly yes for the amount of customers that jumped on board and then you know the war in ukraine that whole thing starlink provided for that so there's a whole slew of different reasons why i think the service kind of went downhill do we regret getting starlink no it's it's an awesome idea it's an awesome system once again once it gets to where it needs to be i think it's going to be great so now we will keep you posted on this guy Definitely. And let you know, you know, kind of what. We're going to be even trying taking it with us to Puerto Rico. I don't think that there's servers in Puerto Rico, but we'll, we'll never know. Yeah, we'll take it to Puerto Rico and we'll try it out. You never know. We wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you guys are full timers or even weekenders and you need your data or if you travel for two weeks and you can work on the road Definitely. or if you work on the road. A lot of people work remote. Lots of people. Now, Will this work great everywhere? I don't know. Like T-Mobile in Tampa area, eh, it's kind of spotty, but- But it did work. But in, in Tampa, I mean, I had high speeds of over mm -hmm. 225 megabytes per second of, of download. And I can't remember what the upload was, but it, you know, it, it's, it's different. So 
Now, one thing that I'm looking to do, and you might see a video about this um, in the future, is getting one of those King um, cell expander systems because it's perfect to pair with this. I think I think with that with and these I think with two, that, I think that would be the perfect yes. combination. So, now, if you have something that works great for you, by all means, this is just us what works for us and why and, and us telling you why Starlink at the time is not feasible for us and why we paused it. Now if you have something that works wonderfully that's that is saving you money, please by all means comment below and share with us yep. what are you using for your internet service. Are you a content creator? Do you travel? Does it work in most areas, even when there's trees? These are all things that we'd like to know, too. To you. And I know there's a new one out that I have no idea about, so I'm not even going to attempt to tell you about it, but it's called, like, a Nomad Internet or something like that. And I think it's similar to this. They just kind of private label it. So I do know that um, Verizon has now Verizon come out now with has a home similar. internet yep. and it's actually $35 instead of $50. Got, you know, you got to be in competition, but I don't really know of anyone who has it, so I can't tell you how well that works. Yep. This has been working well for us. Yep. And, you know, I mean, listen, is it in a year, is it going to change? Will T-Mobile change it to where if you're not within your address, it's not going to work? Everything Who changes knows? with time, Who knows? which is why here we are almost a year later and we're pausing our Starlink. Just wanted to give you a little bit of information, give you our real feedback on Starlink. We've done that from the beginning when we were super excited to get that box and unbox it for you and show you guys. We're doing that with this and, you know, it for now it works. It works for us and it might just work for you. So if you like what you see, and you like these kind of videos please let us know in the comments like ruth said and make sure you subscribe and like our Hit stuff that thumbs up yes. don't forget to share and watch the rest of our videos and turn your notifications to all most importantly because we have a lot of fun stuff coming up we still have our van life in puerto rico yes we so have our be... trip to niagara falls and we have all of our amazing tech tips and beauty tips we still have some beauty tips coming yep for our mamas in the rv so thank you for watching and hasta la próxima until the next one